Hey everyone and welcome to another Xim tutorial. Today I want to show you my Hyperscape config tutorial. Hyperscape is very aim and movement heavy, so we will make sure that our Xim config supports exactly that playstyle. I will also go over some tricks that you can utilize to better navigate the inventory menu and world map. But as always, let's first talk about the preparation steps that are required for this config. The first one is about your polling rate. Head into the global settings of your Xim manager. Your polling rate should be set to either 500 or 1000 Hz. If you cannot see that option, then tick the export mode box at the very top. To find out which of the two polling rates is a better choice for you, you have to run a polling rate benchmark. If you don't want to do that and you just want to be on the safe side, then just go with 500 Hz. Pretty much any gaming mouse can run that without any problems. My mouse runs really well on 1000 Hz, so I will go with that profile. Now once you picked your favorite option, press the save button in the bottom right and restart your Xim Apex, otherwise your polling rate changes will not become active. Next, let's take care of the in-game settings. The required in-game settings for Hyperscape can be found by pressing the wrench button in the bottom right of your config picture. Press the yes button and you will be forwarded to the Xim forum. In general, you should always use the recommended in-game settings from the Xim website. Settings that aren't listed here can of course be customized to your personal preference. The next topic is about the HIP and ADS settings. Start by clicking on the edit button in the top left of your Xim manager. My config color is set to blue and my hotkey is the F1 key. That way I can load my Hyperscape config whenever I want to by pressing the F1 key on my keyboard. As a confirmation, Maxim will then show a blue LED light. Now let's swipe one more time to the right to enter the hip config. As always, adjust your synchronization settings first. In my opinion, sync default is the best choice. We want to have a very snappy aim while not sacrificing too much on the aim assist side. And sync default offers exactly that. If you want to focus more on aim assist, then sync common is the best choice for hyperscape. In my opinion, aiming is more important though, since Hyperscape heavily focuses on vertical aim adjustments, where aim assist doesn't really help. Therefore, I will go with Sync Default here. After that, adjust your hip sensitivity. I will use a sensitivity of 40 with a mouse DPI value of 3200. I would recommend you to play with a slightly higher sensitivity than you normally play with. Fast turns and camera corrections are really important in the game to keep track of your surroundings and doing that with a slow sensitivity is just way too difficult. What you should also look into is your mouse DPI value since it has quite an influence on the quality of your mouse movements. A wrong value can cause mouse stutter and aim assist problems which heavily affects the quality of your mouse movements. If you are unsure what DPI value will work best for your setup then you can watch Maxim mouse DPI tutorial. I would also recommend you to watch my sensitivity tutorial if you want to find your most optimal mouse sensitivity. A link to both videos can be found in the video description. Now about boost and steady aim. Neither of the two are really helpful for hyperscape since its aim assist doesn't really require any major adjustments. For SAB we will use a value of 25. Strafing or movement changes are really common in hyperscape and SAB will make sure that our aim assist experience will not suffer in those situations. Now scroll down until you can see the button bindings. Here you can either copy the button layout that you can see right now or you go with your own one. At the very bottom of your button bindings you can find the option to switch into the secondary button bindings. If you want to double bind specific keys or in-game actions then you can do that here. Now swipe one more time to the right to enter the ADS configuration. Just like before, adjust your Xim synchronization first. I recommend to use the same synchronization as in your hip config to maintain the same mouse feeling. So I will go with sync default again. After that, adjust your aimed on sight sensitivity. My preferred aimed on sight sensitivity for hyperscape is 32. Just like in your hip config, I don't recommend to use boost or steady aim. Sync default is all we need to get the mouse movements and aim assist behavior that we want. In the third topic, I will show you how to optimize your map menu. For that, I would recommend you to use the following in-game setting. Set your world map mode to hold in the game options. After that, go back to your Xim manager. Now swipe one more time to the right and activate a new subconfig. As an activation key, use your world map button from your hip config. 
I bound that action to the tabulator key, so I will use it here again. In the advanced options you have to bind your crouch key as a deactivation button. In my hip config I bound the crouch action to the left control key. Once that is done you can take care of the sensitivity options. Use a sensitivity that is twice as high as your hip sensitivity. My hip sensitivity is 40, so I will go with 80 here. In the advanced settings change your boost value to 200. That will make your mouse cursor more responsive. Next I have to untick the inherit box at the top and scroll down to the button bindings. Unbind your left mouse button, after that assign it to the ping action. That will allow you to place a marker on the map with a left mouse click. Here you can see an in-game example. When I want to open the world map I just start to hold down my map button. And while I do that I can use my mouse to navigate the cursor. And with my left mouse button I can place a marker on the map. Now when I want to close the world map I can either press my crouch button or I stop holding down my world map key. In both cases Maxim will switch back to the hip config. In the fourth topic we will set up an inventory config. Just like before you have to make an adjustment in the in-game settings. Change your inventory wheel mode to hold. Once that is done you can go back to your Xim manager. Again swipe one more time to the right and activate a new sub config. This time your activation key has to be your inventory button. In my hip config I picked the caps lock key for that so I have to use it here again. As a deactivation key you have to bind your jump button which for me is the spacebar key. You will also have to bind your crouch key here. Your sensitivity should be the same as in your hip config so I will go with 40 again. Next you have to set the boost value to 3000. At last you have to bind your inventory key to the turn assist feature. Once that is done your hyperscape config is complete. Here you have an in-game example of how the sub config works. When you want to open your inventory menu just hold down your inventory key. Now while you hold it down you can now easily rearrange your equipment or use your mouse to pick specific items. And when you want to drop a weapon or ability your Xim will automatically go back to your hip config. And when you are in the inventory menu you can of course close it again by pressing your crouch button or by releasing your inventory button. In both cases your Xim will go back to your hip config to avoid sensitivity jumps. Guys, if you liked this video hit the like button or even subscribe to this channel. And for the crazy guys out there you can even support the channel now by becoming a channel member. I'd really really appreciate that. Channel members also get exclusive benefits such as early access to all new videos. Also let me know if you would like to see more of these tutorial videos and don't forget to post your own suggestions in the comments down below. But that's about it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and I will maybe see you in the next one.